I failed no fap. 500 day streak gone. Just like that. Listen, if you're on this journey and you find yourself relapsing or falling into temptation, let's talk about it. It's not the end. We'll start off with a little verse from the Bible. A righteous man falls down seven times, but he gets back up again. A wicked man falls down and he stays down. Now, I might have blotched that verse a little bit, but it's true. If you fell into temptation, let's continuously walk. Let's continuously strive forward. Think about why we started this journey. Why did you start NoFap? Why did you not want to fall into lust? Well, we wanted to break the old habits. Think about the old habits. You feel like a prisoner trapped in those old habits. It's sad. And it's just... It's just not... Not a good life. Think about what we want moving forward. Stronger habits, godly habits, better habits, habits that build us up, make us stronger, working out, working on projects, taking that energy that's pent up inside of us and using that for something constructive. Maybe you like to make videos like me. Maybe you're writing a book. Maybe, like I said, you're going to the gym. Whatever it is, I don't know specifically what it is that you're looking to use that extra energy for, but let's apply it to something good. If you feel down, if you feel like you can't recover from it, repent, pray to God. He is our strength on this journey. If you don't have the strength within, you don't need it. Our bodies are weak to fall in. We're, we're weak and susceptible to fall into like habits that aren't good for us. Drinking, lust, nicotine you know these were some of the things that have held me back things that you know i'm working on but it's because of god that he works in the weakness to help me move forward from all this and he can help you too now 500 days gone what now keep going restart again does it really matter the streak it's impressive it's great to keep track of the number, but I heard something today that rings true with me is that let's just say you've been tracking your calories for X amount of days, a couple of months, and you've been losing weight. And that one day you go binge eating. Does that mean you automatically lose all your progress? You gain back all that weight? No, you made progress. The progress counts. And I'm talking to myself here, but I'm also talking to you. You made progress. You've come far. You've been able to develop new habits and break free from those old habits. And okay, maybe you're falling right now. Maybe you're relapsing. Maybe you're not feeling like you're so strong. Maybe you're feeling like you you can't break out of the bad habits. Try. Keep trying. Keep praying. If you've gone so long and you fell with a, with a decent streak... Don't build that habit back up. It takes like 20 something days, three weeks to build a habit. Don't make it a habit, right? Just because you fell once this week, today, however many times this week, it doesn't give you the excuse to keep falling. And again, I'm talking to myself too, because this is something that I need to pray about to be able to be free, to be able to continue forward strongly. Yeah, I felt down. Um, about falling on the streak, but you know what? God's given me the strength and renewed my spirit after I pray about it, and I'm ready to keep going. Will I fall in the future? I pray not. Pray that you don't fall into temptation. Another um, verse from scripture, something I was meditating on the other day. I think it was Matthew 26, 41. Um, pray that you don't enter into temptation, right? So I need to keep reminding myself of that. Um, but I'm mostly staying focused on the things that I have to do, you know, busy, working, working on things that I love to do, trying to work on myself on my weight loss journey, trying to get a little bit stronger. How is that really going? Uh, 
I don't know. We'll maybe make some more videos about that in the future if you guys want to hear about that. But I just thought I'd update you guys and like be honest here. You know, I could say, hey, <clears throat> it never happened. And I could just say I'm on day 700 now, whatever it is. But I just like being honest. I think it makes for interesting content to see like relatable sides of people. Like that's what I look for in videos. I want to see like, is somebody be relatable? Like, or are they portraying like an un unattainable um person like are they real are they really this strong and if they really are that strong then i want to hear something honest to really look at them and be like okay i i believe them um i think they're strong i think they worked on themselves for long enough that like okay they got this especially with the help of god um but yeah Whatever you get out of this, I hope it's some sort of inspiration. I pray that this inspires you or this motivates you in some way, shape, or form. I'm going to continue on this journey. Um, am I going to continuously count the days? Probably not, but obviously I'll look back on this video and have an idea of, you know, what day I'm on, if I'm curious about it in the future. Um, but I'm just praying to God, praying to Jesus for the strength to move forward from this break free of lust, stay free of lust. And continue making godly good habits. Um, and just striving for perfection, which is Jesus. Um, can we attain that? Humanly speaking, no. But with man, it's impossible. With God, all things are possible to those that believe. And I believe. So... That's it for this video. If you like this kind of content, you want to see more, I would appreciate it if you click the like button because it's not always easy talking about these things. It's embarrassing, especially if people I know watch the videos, which I hope they don't. But if you do, hey, listen, it's a part of life. What are you going to do? Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel and you've come this far consistently watching my videos, I'd appreciate it if you click the, the subscribe button. You only It only... It needs to happen once. You only need to do it once and it's free. But as always, God bless you in Jesus' powerful, mighty name. And I will see you in the next video.